Jeremy Johnson here with Journey Home Realty. Uh, coming, uh, coming at you with the month of June uh, monthly market update. And yes, I'm, I'm realistic that today is the 5th of July. Um, just, I don't know about any of you, but uh, the month of June just breezed by with so many things going on and, and everything. But still wanted to get this content out. I thought it was important. If you are tracking um, or care, uh, the, the report does come out on the 10th of each month. So we'll get July's out. Um, you know, the, not next week, but the following week, we'll have July's information out for you. But today I wanted to entitle, um, we're gonna do a three part again, try to keep these videos just a little bit shorter um, to retain the attention on them um, and the importance of them at the same time and the information we're gonna share. Uh, but I'm gonna uh, entitle this month's series as alleviating confusion. And the, and the first part is gonna be uh, probably what on, on everybody's mind and that's mortgage rates. So you can see with this first slide here, mortgage rates, are is what confusing everybody. And we talked about this a couple months ago and I wanna uh, kind of highlight it again, what makes up the mortgage rate. Um, and it is the treasury yield, 10 year treasury yield, plus the spread. And historically, uh, the spread is, for the last 50 years, the spread has been about 1.72. So you take the treasury yield and you have 1.72 and that's what determine, um, as you can see in this slide here, uh, what determines your 30 year uh, fixed rate mortgage. Um, but as you'll see on this next slide here, what's really making the rates uh, touch the 7% where you guys are seeing today um, is that spread. Um, and this slide here shows you that we started off this year on the spread at 2.7. Um, and that's a uh, spread is what a lot of people like to say is what the banks are keeping. Um, and they're gonna inflict that you know, a little bit higher when there's tumultuous things going on, uh, like the economy and things like that um, for security. So you can see we started off this year at uh, 2.705. So that's historically one point or 100 basis points, which is one, in one interest rate point um, higher. And uh, at the end of May, closing out for this June report, we were at 3.23. So just in the seven months in, in 20, uh, 2023, uh, we've had an average spread of 2.961, which is 1.2 higher um, than it historically is. Um, and so um, that's what's driving it here. Um, I wanna share, a, 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 again, facts, not fiction, um, not emotions, but uh, uh, George Chief Economic, uh, KCM, which is Keeping Current Matters, which is where we get our data from, says the only time the spread has approached or exceeded 300 basis points or three points, three interest rate points, uh, was during periods of high inflation or economic volatility, like uh, those seen in the early 1980s or the great financial crisis of 2008 and 2009. So I'll stop you there. Um, and I'll show you in part three of this series of why this is not the same thing as we went through in 2008 and 2009, um, but it was an economic volatility. Um, and so just the things that are going on is just creating that spread um, higher. Um, so I wanted to show you that. And then there's another bar chart and you can kind of see, not kind of, you can actually see uh, the times that it's been over three, the spread has been over three, uh, um, three, 300 basis points or three up, up percent on the interest. So with that, some hope. Deputy Chief Economist of First American came out um, recently and said it's reasonably to assume that the spread and therefore mortgage rates will retreat in the second half of this year if the Fed takes its foot off the mon monetary tightening pedal and provides investors with more certainty. So that's the big thing. There's not a lot of certainty and people are concerned and people are you know, watching the news and the headlines that we've talked about before and not looking at the raw data or the full raw data uh, to understand what's driving that. It says, however, unlikely the spread will return to its historical average of 170 basis points. So that's 1.7. We said it was 1.72. Um, as some risks are, uh, are here to stay. So they're not saying we're gonna get the spread down to 1.72 like that overnight, um, but we, we are, well, should, should start seeing that go down a little bit, which is then gonna obviously lower interest rates. Um, and this next slide here, last slide I wanna show you in, in this series, is kind of just a, a, an example of what it can look like. Um, so historically, when our spread was 1.72, um, and then the 10 year treasury yield was 3.65. You can see we had interest rates at uh, 5.37. Um, where we are is in the middle right there. Uh, and that this is again, back in um, uh, at the end of May. So it's went up a little bit higher. If you guys have been paying attention in, in, uh, in June, it went up and we touched seven, 7.05 at one point um, because of that 3.2 um, spread uh, that was added in there. Um, the, what I wanted to show you on this one is that even if it goes down a little bit, as that the previous slide said, is it's not gonna, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna be seeing 1.72 spread uh, for a while, but even if it comes down half a point to the 2.25, that's gonna put us below 6%. Um, and as we told you all before, um, just keep in mind is when we get down below that 6%, 
um, not fear, but the, 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 the um, thought process is going to be, there's going to be more people heading into the market. Um, so we've used the, the phrase before, um, you know, marry the house, date the mortgage. Um, you know, if you're buying now a little bit higher, uh, you know, and it, and it goes down, you can always refinance. If you wait for it to go down, then you're going to have that, uh, you're going to be competing again, much like it was in 2021, uh, 2020 and 2021. So um, hopefully that helps out a little bit on the mortgage rate um, and kind of what's driving it. Um, it is that spread. We're at a, a, a you know, historic high over the last 50 years. It's only happened. It's only the third time in the last 50 years that we've been over 300 basis points or three points uh, on the spread, you know, then adding to the 10-year uh, Treasury yield. So um, there are some facts for you on what's going on there. Um, and we will pick it up in the next part on... Um, tax and financial benefits of home ownership and why we still obviously believe it's, it's really important for that.